This basic graphic indicates the Tyler Morgan Show, episode 30. Hey there. How's it going? I'm just outside the uh, UFW campus right now. It's about a five minute walk from my place. This might be a new venue or a new uh, setting for me to record these videos all the time. It's very comfortable. There are a few people walking by here, but they see that I have a camera, so they'll probably understand that I'm making some type of video. And they probably understand that it's a simplistic type of video with uh, no huge camera crew and no big set of extras. Nothing along those lines. Where I am right now is uh, like I said, in front of the U of W main campus. And it's uh, right on busy Portage Avenue, so there's lots of vehicles going by. I don't know how that will translate into the uh, final cut of the video. But uh, as long as there's no big, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, the word when a bunch of bikes travel together on motorcycles, a caravan perhaps, a convoy. Yeah, so I'm just hoping that a big convoy of uh, ambulance horns or police sirens don't go by. It's a pretty safe area, but uh, earlier today I heard a couple cops screaming by and a couple ambulance as well. I'm also wearing uh, shorts today, which is uh, a little bit chilly, but uh, I like to jump the gun on the short weather. I just hope my hanger, my hammer, I just hope my hammer doesn't uh, fall out the bottom of my shorts. Maybe I'll just tie it to my leg, maybe with some duct tape. Then if I uh, get a, an erection, it'll probably bust right through the duct tape. Maybe I'll wear pants and then I just don't have to deal with that. But right now I'm wearing shorts. Anyway, it's a little windy in the city. The flags are uh, really, really flying nicely. I'll show you that. Canada, our home and native land. I'm not gonna do the whole song uh, for another edition of uh, the Tyler Morgan Show. So we're at number 30 right now. Big 3-0. It's a milestone birthday. And I'm not quite 30 years old yet myself. But I am uh, 30 episodes long on the Tyler Morgan Show. Oh. Earlier today, for, uh, for a little snack, I cooked up a bag of progies. Gave a couple of my roommates a few. Had some sour cream. Did some dishes up. I've uh, been working on my resume slowly. I had kind of a universal resume that I was just going to distribute to a whole bunch of companies. But uh, recently what I did was I, was I went on Wikipedia and I found uh, 30 of the top big companies in Winnipeg. Some of them are manufacturing companies, some of them are transportation companies, some of them are, uh, what else was there? investments companies but uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four or five different resumes uh, specified for for each field so I'm doing a little bit of tinkering with that right now uh, today really just enjoying the beauty of the weather out here As you can see, I'm kind of a fish out of water right now. Again, I didn't really go with the big script. That's getting a little windy on these legs. So I think I'm going to move to a different area and uh, venture out a little bit and see what else is kicking around here.
I'll definitely be stopping by there on the way back. I should uh, be a little honest and say today was, uh, I could probably go ahead and call it a wasted day actually. I uh, stayed up a little later with with Sam and uh, we shared some laughs, had some good times. So uh, I kind of slept in this morning, but uh, but you know that's the way she goes. I'm not too worried about that. As long as tomorrow I do get a few more things accomplished, which will be uh, which will be easy to do because I have my game plan all set out. I'll highlight that a little bit later once I go back to my room and can look at some of the documents I have and. Uh, and decide what I'm going to do from there. Alright. Oh, better give her. I like to run across the street and uh, try and beat the vehicles, play a little game of chicken. I included the Canadian flag and uh, figured I had to include the Manitoba flag. During my uh, writing days, I used to write a wrestling column on the internet, and uh, this was when the internet was first starting out. And I introduced myself as uh, Tyler Morgan from uh, Manitoba, and I was instantly penned with the uh, pen name Mr. Manitoba for, for that uh, column that I used to write on a weekly basis. Yeah, old Mr. Manitoba. I've decided I've done enough exploring so far. So I'm going to head back here. I didn't actually get very far. But I'll be heading back to uh, to the juice. Booster juice. Give me a little boost. I counted up uh, all my loonies, toonies, and quarters. And it was almost 70 bucks. So I guess I'll uh, full, I'll take down that total, but in exchange I'll get a sweet booster juice. I'm getting closer. I'll grab that juice and we'll sit down. So we've got uh, cranberry, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, and yogurt. Whoa. Now I think it's time to get out of here. Well, I really wanted to get out of there because there was uh, some music playing on the background and I don't want to be nailed again for copyright infringement. That whole anti-copyright deal with me providing 100% original content, that's what I'm striving here to do. And um, uh, before the Tyler Morgan show began, I was just putting up a random clips on YouTube, just getting to know the site. And I played this one Rise Against song. I forget which song it was, but it, nonetheless I played air guitar for the whole song. That was the, uh, that was that episode of whatever show I was doing at the time. 
and all of a sudden I got an email from YouTube saying that I was uh, infringing on Rise Against His Copyright by playing air guitar to their music. Their music was in the background. So uh, that's an example of why I left Booster Juice so quickly. Let's see if I can uh, rehearse what berries are in here again. There's cranberry, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry. So that's the very berry combination. And it added uh, some yogurt and a wilderness booster, which had a bunch of crap that I don't even know what it does for me, but actually that crap is probably pretty good. Take a look at this. <coughs> Spy camera discovered in women's pool change room. Those son of a bitches. That's what makes me look uh, a tad creepy <coughs> walking with a video camera. And I remember I had a nice, nice handheld video camera a while back. And I was on the bus just looking at some of the clips. It had the the deal where you'd fold it out and flip the screen and you could watch the videos that way and uh, this other guy came up sat beside me and started talking to me about uh, my camera and he says to me that uh, man that's an awesome camera if I had, if I had that camera I would just uh, I would just bring it out in public all the time and just just film girls ass as he says I looked at him, looked at my camera, and I said, well, uh, I, can't, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I basically told him that that's not what the camera is for, and uh, luckily my stop was coming up right away, so I just, I just stood up and said, all right, I'm taking off. I didn't like that he said that. So I'm almost back to my place now. Yeah, winter's pretty much out. It's gone. It's awesome. <laughs> it's a lovely day in the neighborhood. All right, I think that's good for outside today. I'm going to head in and uh, go to my desk. A while back, I explained uh, a new collection I was going to start. Your typical cigarette pack has the designer label of the brand at the bottom. And then at the top, where my finger is reaching up here, there's always some nasty slogan on why you shouldn't smoke. Be it an impotent cigarette, a uh, guy coughing up a lung, we've all seen them before. And I wanted to get rid of those advertisements because honestly, I'm still smoking. So they're not affecting me other than that they make the cigarette pack look awful and they're annoying so what I do is I cut that ugly uh, uh, warning label off and now I'm collecting some cigarette packs with the actual cool art at the bottom and I'll flip through them here try and get a good uh, good view of everything that's going on these also signify to me that they're like 10 bucks a pack, so it's like a little receipt. That's it for now. So I'm going to sign off for episode 30. 
Bye bye.